Hello everyone, welcome to our training. This is Wayne Coakley with Mobile Home Marketing Solutions. And my goal here in the next few minutes is to show you step by step how to dominate your manufactured housing market online. We are the nation's leading experts in local online marketing. The proprietary system and marketing strategies I'm going to be giving you here today will give you the edge that your company needs to achieve rock star status in the mobile home industry and position your company as the market leader. So let's start out by showing you some of the dramatic shifts that have just happened here in our marketplace. And I want to do that by showing you that every day people are looking online for your products, your mobile home services, uh, homes for sale, uh, communities, parks. Here, right here in Oregon, we've got a uh, list here that I've gone on to Google AdWords, pulled off what these um, what searches are and these numbers are astounding I mean these are searches each month exact searches for manufactured homes here in Oregon someone's going to go to their computer type that up so an average of 1600 people consumers are looking for manufactured homes in Oregon and go down the list here mobile homes for sale in Oregon 480 people dealers in Oregon 90 that's huge. I mean, it'd be nice to get in front of those 90 people to be on the top of those searches. New manufactured homes in Oregon and uh, mobile home parks in Oregon. Somebody's found a home or they're looking for a community in Oregon. That's what they're typing up. So these numbers are they're, they're astounding, really, if you think about it, because hundreds, if not thousands of people online every single month are looking for your business. And the question is, you know, can they find you? Because every day, people as you can see here are looking for these types of you know mobile home businesses and services like yours and the problem is who should they do business with and what they're doing is they're looking for the most reputable company to do business with and over the next few minutes we're going to show you how to make sure that you are the business that they call on and not your competition so let me ask you a question would you buy a product or a service that has bad ratings and reviews well, obviously, the, the answer would be no because you know nobody wants to actually go through that same experience when they buy a product or service. So we always look at reviews as the indicator of how we might experience that product or service. But here's the more important question. you got two products. They're identical. You know, one's got 10 good reviews. The other's got three good reviews. And the other one just has you know one or actually has zero reviews. But here's the more important question. You get two products that are identical. One has 10 good reviews. The other one has three good reviews, but you know, got a bad one. And one of them has zero. You know, which one do you buy from? Well, obviously, it's the one with 10 good reviews. And why is that? That's because we want to have a great experience, right? We're looking to make sure that a company is consistent with delivering that experience or that product or service. So why I'm sorry, so this is why customers, you know, individuals, companies, they do this every single day. They go online, they're looking to find the most reputable company to do business with, and there's only one bad review. And as you can see here, that can send that customer from your website or your listing online to someone else's. So that means the difference between your phone ringing or your competition's phone ringing. And that's what we want to talk about here over the next few minutes. So let me officially welcome you to our reputation marketing training, the most important way that you can market your manufactured home business online. Now there's a lot of companies out there that actually do reputation management. And the reason we don't do reputation management is because reputation management doesn't get the phone ringing. Management is it's kind of a defensive posture. Marketing is very offensive posture. So when you see a company or you hear a company doing reputation management, you know, that company really doesn't know what they're doing. They don't have your best uh, heart in front of them. What they should be doing is reputation marketing. And why is that? Well, because we believe that your reputation is everything. More importantly, the online marketing game has changed. And even your competition, they don't even know about it yet. You see, 
everybody has been doing reputation management for such a long time, but they don't really understand these big game changers that have just happened, and now it's all about reputation marketing. So let's talk about the game changers real quick. And game changer number one, type in a company name, a city, and we do a search for it, and it reveals the company's reputation. For example, when I typed in the word uh, Forest Park Estates, uh, typed in uh, Oklahoma, you know, look what comes up. Uh, they only have two reviews. Uh, we are, we're going to be needing six to ten, and that's going to give us the stars across here. And we'll show you that here in just a moment. So we type that in, and then the person's going to type or punch in uh, the Google reviews. They're going to click it, and these are the reviews that show up. You know, I mean, look at these. They're not really good. This one was just a month ago. You know, you're warned this is a terrible place. Uh, two years ago, a user did a five-star review. But again, we've got one good one, one bad one. Here's another example. Uh, it's Clayton Homes um, dealership out of Oklahoma City. Same thing, only one review. You know, one review is not very much. That's not going to get you the attention of another consumer. And wow, uh, read this one. It's pretty rough. Um, you know, one bad review... Uh, out of, I mean, one review and all they have is one bad one. And then one last one here, just another example. And this can go on because I want to encourage you after this um, webinar to uh, do this to yourself. Type in your company name in the city or state that you're in and see what shows up. Uh, see what people are saying about you. Um, this is a welcome home community. Uh, they're out of Oklahoma. Now they have 3.1 stars out of 5. It's average. Um, not great, just average. So we click on the five Google reviews and read what people were saying. And you know this is pretty telling. Uh, a year ago, had a good review, you know five star or four star, excuse me. Three years ago, uh, pretty detailed um, review, gave them a two star. Wow, this one's rough. I would love to see that one off of there if this was my company. Um, so people are going to be typing in company names even if they're looking for directions they just need to know where you're located at um, and this is what they're going to find so let's talk about game changer number two which is customer reviews they're a major factor in almost every type of online marketing and that's because bad reviews they show up in Google Maps uh, your Google Plus listings shows up on pay-per-click. Look right here. Um, you can see uh, reviews showing up inside the pay-per-click area here. They show up on a website rankings, the organic rankings. They show up in local directories like um, like Yelp, uh, City Search, Bing, Yahoo, um, Yellow Pages. Reviews are a major factor in almost every type of online marketing. So which really leads us to game changer number three, and that is SEO, social media, pay-per-click, local marketing. None of it works anymore if you've had a bad reputation or bad reviews online. It's pretty simple. You know, why would you want to do all this work, spend all this time, spend money getting to the top of the search engines and doing online marketing, and when people find you, they find bad reviews. So really, what what we've done over the last several years is a complete flip-flop in online marketing strategies. Before we used to do Google Maps, we used to do Yelp, we used to do video marketing, you know, we do blogging and social media, and then and then we work on getting some of those great reviews or work on getting some customer reviews. That's completely the opposite of what today's marketing is all about. So step one now is you need to create a five-star reputation first, then you go market your products and services online because again who wants to be at the top who wants to get found when all they're doing is wasting their money and time because your money I mean because your phone is not gonna ring because you don't have that five-star reputation that companies or other businesses or customers are looking for so let's take a look at game changer number four now we've talked about what's happening kind of negatively with reputation but let's talk about some positive things now when it comes to game changers. First of all, reviews send you pre-qualified, pre-sold customers because buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. So reviews can be incredibly bad for you if they're bad, but they can be 
incredibly good for you if they're really good and they're posted right online and that is reputation marketing and let's look at this stat that came from Miles Anderson from Bright Local 72 percent of buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations now if I was to ask a hundred different companies I mean let me just ask you this would you rather create a marketing plan that when people that don't know you they don't like you they don't trust you are always worried about price or would you rather create a marketing plan with people that that know you people like you people that trust you and they're all referrals well, of course you want to create a referral plan well for the first time with our online marketing our marketing can be just as powerful as referral marketing because three out of four people trust reviews such as you know or as much as personal recommendations so when we need those five-star reviews on our website it's imperative that we get them on there you have five-star reviews on your listings that's as good as someone's mother saying you should go buy from that company that's as good as somebody's best friend saying you know what you should use those type of services over there at that company I've used them it was amazing they're a good company it's just as good as a colleague at work saying look if you need that go right over there to that business they do a great job so 72 percent of buyers trust reviews just as much as personal recommendations and I want to go even deeper on this fact because this is a huge game changer check us out we are familiar with Nielsen ratings you know one of the top rating companies in the world when it comes to advertising and these are the results of a major survey they recently completed when it comes to the extent that you trust different forms of advertising which are the most important things you can trust well here's what they said here that 92 percent of people trust recommendations from people that they know right here's the big one look at the one right under that 70 percent trust opinions based on online reviews so you can see here we have one stat saying 72 percent and then we've got the Nielsen rating 70 percent this is huge but more importantly look at this they actually trust consumer opinions posted online more than an editorial newspaper or an article you could actually have a newspaper article written about you that's an editorial and people will not trust that as much as online reviews so you can see that all the evidence points that reputation marketing is the most important marketing that someone could do for their business so if you're going to do any type of marketing with your business it shouldn't start with the type of marketing that people don't trust like you know, TV ads 47 percent or email marketing at 50 percent or even branded websites it should start with the top two recommendations from people that know you and consumer opinions posted online which is reputation marketing so why is reputation marketing so vital to a business well this stat is incredible consumers look up an average of 10 reviews before they make a decision so all these consumers are online they're looking for reviews more importantly they're looking at multiple reviews not just one or two so this stat it's incredible as well and this is the kind of secret mystery of how many reviews do you actually need to be credible well here it is 70% of consumers trust a business with a minimum of six to ten reviews so you can see here that if consumers are looking for ten reviews and you've got ten reviews and the bottom line is that's the plumb line you're not credible without five star reviews without a five star reputation and a minimum of ten reviews your business just can't be trusted when people actually find you so this is the difference between your phone ringing and it not ringing and more importantly that's the difference between your phone not ringing and your competition's phone ringing so incredibly important we need to get you not just 10 reviews but 10 five-star reviews so when people see your business online your phone's ringing so what exactly is reputation marketing well we have talked a little bit about that earlier that reputation management is kind of the old way of doing business and now if you really want to dominate your market it's all about well, it's all about reputation marketing it's really simple position your company as the market leader in front of thousands of buyers with simply a five-star reputation it's building a five-star reputation online and then going out 
and then marketing that reputation, which we just saw is the most powerful and most trusted type of marketing that any business can do. So how do you create a reputation marketing strategy? I mean, does everybody want to know and get into that now? Would, you, would everybody like to learn how that's done? Well, good, because that's what we're here for. We want to give you the step-by-step -step strategies on how to take care of that. And one of the first things you need to do and to really understand about your reputation so let me ask you, do you know your reputation online right now? I mean, do you know what people are saying about you, your business right now? Or our customers do, and that's the difference because we're not just building five-star reputation, we're leveraging it and marketing it. And the first start is to actually know what people are saying. So what we've done is we have a proprietary system and strategy and software that actually shows and reveals to anyone within moments what their reputation is online. And all you do is put your phone number in, and our system will sift through sort of basically thousands of, of different data pieces online. It actually shares with you what others are saying about you. And look at this number here. You can see on your screen bad reviews about you. And what it'll do is it gives you your reputation score also. More importantly than that, it also will search on the most important sites that your business should be branded on to see if you're, you're even there. So literally within moments you can find out exactly what your reputation is online. So that's where we want to begin. So what I want to do is I want to give everybody the link to our reputation uh, report system and therefore you can put in your phone number yourself and see for yourself what others are saying. I mean that's going to be the great start don't you think? Because once you know your reputation, you're going to find out that there are really only four types that you're going to have. One is going to be a bad reputation. Obviously, we know that that's not good. And you're going to need to do something about that pretty quickly. And then there's no reputation at all. And you know we just saw that also, that having no reputation is just as bad as having a bad reputation. Because it doesn't get your phone ringing. You need at least ten positive five-star reviews for it to even look credible online. And then there's a good reputation. And if you have a good reputation, it simply means you have some good reviews and you might have some not so good reviews. But it's more good than bad. Well, what if you have 10 really good reviews, but the last two that people posted, they're bad? See, this is the question we asked earlier. Remember, if you had multiple good reviews, but you had one bad one, versus another company, who would, who would you go with? Well, this is the difference. Having a good review is not enough. So these types of reputations are not going to get your phone ringing and they're not going to be able to position you as a leader in the industry. It's getting a five-star reputation that's going to make you the industry leader. So how do you do that? Well, here's the steps. Well, first of all, step one, you want to build and develop that five-star reputation, which we will go into in a little bit here, and then we're going to give you some insider strategies of how we do it for our clients. And then you want to actually market that reputation. And we're going to show you exactly how we actually use and leverage the power of this reputation and get it into the marketplace, and then where people really get excited about doing business with you. And then three, we want to manage that reputation you want to keep the reputation going because you're only one bad customer away from a bad review. I mean, everybody has a bad day, right? The receptionist, your salesperson, you know, that you've hired to fulfill the products, your strategic partner, you know, everybody one day or another is just one customer away from a bad review. So we want to make sure we manage that really well. And then the last thing we want to do, which is the most important we want to do is create a reputation marketing culture. It's not enough to just fix these things and to try to get better reviews, we want to be proactive inside your business to make sure that every single person in your company is on the same page. And you want to make sure they're all motivated to do one thing, to do a great job. You know, your customers are important. Give them a first class experience and give a five star review to keep that five star reputation going. So you can see when you have a plan like this put together, you are going to dominate your market online. So let's look at a strategy number one, developing your five-star reputation. Now we have a lot of ways to do this. One of the best ways that we do is that we really start out with creating professionally designed review cards. 
we design these for our clients and what they do is they print them up send them out to their customers and the customers love to give five star reviews now another thing we do is we create we create business cards and see your staff they need to be armed with a way for your customers to actually give reviews and having a business card that tells them you know where they can put their review how easily accessible it is to give a review is vital for creating a five-star reputation we also create email templates now emails are very easy ways to get reviews but you have to actually work things in a certain way to be able to create a specific type of template that really motivates people to not only do to read it but to take action and we do that for our customers and there's so many more strategies but these are the three that you can apply to your business right now right away now one of the big insider strategies that we create for our customers is a private review page see what we do is we want to be able to have a one-stop shop for everybody to be able to post their reviews so here's the question would you rather someone post a review on say Yelp or Google or one of the insider pages that's not very good or would you rather them put it in your own personal review area where that you review them and they never see the light of day well that's what we do we create a private custom review page so that all of the reviews are funneled into one area and then we receive them we post them online and the only ones that we post are the really good ones and the ones that you know they're not really that good you get a private email making sure that you can address that information that situation before the customer actually goes out and posts other reviews online and that you know that's not going to reflect you know that five star reputation now a posted review strategy is critical let me show you why because even if you were to collect these reviews for yourself well businesses can't post a review that actually come from a customer and the reason is that all these different review sites have created these algorithms and filters that delete all reviews that are posted from the same computer IP network and address so that means if you if you take a few reviews and you have your staff post them they instantly get filtered and even deleted but when what we've developed are proprietary systems and processes that can post reviews for a company without being filtered or deleted so when you have a private review page to be able to collect all your reviews and be able to filter them as well and then our proprietary system to post our reviews I mean that's a one-two knockout punch to be able to dominate your market online and really separate yourself from everyone else in the industry let's talk about this for a few minutes more about how to actually market your reputation so once we actually build a five-star reputation how do we actually market it well, if you think that text reviews or reviews posted to a website are powerful, you should try video. Video marketing. The videos we create for our customers are incredible. They literally convert like crazy. So to be able to step up and to be able to create a system and process that actually video reviews, it's something we love to do with our clients. It's incredibly effective. Another way to market your five-star reputation is on your website. Let me ask you, do you have reviews on the front page of your website right now well as you can see that's the most powerful thing that you could do for your site we actually post the latest reviews to our all of our clients websites so when someone shows up at that website they are converted quickly by having the unbelievable authority that we've been talking about also social media you know I I really talked about social media social media social media but nobody really can convert social media into leads until now because when you're using reputation marketing in your social media it's incredibly powerful and then there's maps marketing you know we talked a little bit about this earlier about being able to rank in the top of the map we actually look for businesses where someone types in a keyword they're looking for you know are you the one that's up on the map or more importantly are you the one with the great reputation and they might find your competition but they're looking for a company to do business with that has the best reputation and then also email marketing you know what we find here is when we looked at those Nielsen stats is that email marketing isn't really effective but it can be if you combine it 
with reputation marketing. So every time you send an offer, every time you tell them about a discount, you know, whenever you actually send out newsletters of any type of email marketing you do, you've got to couple it with your five-star reputation. It's going to be incredibly powerful if you do this. And then you have sales marketing. Companies that take advantage of this can literally double their sales closings. Just imagine the ability to sit in front of a customer that's either kind of on the fence of whether they should do business with you or buy your product or not, and then you say, you know what, don't take my word for it. Let's actually go online and see what other customers that were just like you and were on the fence too and what they thought about working with us. And then you read all these five-star reviews right in front of them. And remember, statistically speaking, that's just as powerful as having their best friend or family member, a colleague at work, recommending your products and services to, services to that customer. So you're going to be able to close a lot more sales if you arm yourself with reputation marketing. So let's jump in here and talk about how to manage your five-star reputation. And the way you manage it is you need to make sure that you monitor it daily. Now there are a lot of companies that actually monitor their branding by using tools like Google Alerts. And I've used those too in the past. You know, unfortunately, Google Alerts and hundreds of other tools, they don't work when it comes to monitoring your reputation. Here's the reason why. These tools only work with someone that when, you, when it's going out and searching out types of names uh, and it posts or somebody posting something about your product, it searches the entire web for your name or your product name or the name of the CEO. The problem with that is when somebody posts a review, they're typically doing it on your listing on, say, Yelp, or City Search, or Bing, or Yahoo, Google, and they really never mention your name at all. They just post something about you, but not your name, not the CEO's name, not the product name. So you can have all these alerts you want from all these tools, but none of them are going to show up about your reviews. And what we have is a proprietary system that monitors all the major sites that your listing is on. And every single day, we know exactly who posts and what's posted on these sites. And what we do is every two weeks, we create a report to be able to give to our clients so they can see how their reputation is increasing online. And more importantly, this report's incredible to be able to share with your staff so the staff knows how good they're doing. We post the good reviews and the bad reviews in this report. So what's more important about that is you can also share with your staff the bad reviews and what's going on so you guys can correct that. It's important to get the entire business on board when it comes to online marketing. Now another thing we do is give our clients the competitive advantage is daily review alerts. See when we take a, a look at your review site every day, if we see a negative review posted, we'll let you know. We can even send that to a specific department or a person in your company so they can address that immediately along with positive reviews. You know when you get a positive review, you want to know about that too, don't you? And what can you do is you send, them, you send it to somebody else in your company so they may be able to follow up with that person and even get a referral from it. Now another way to manage your five-star reputation is being able to do it based on location. I don't know if you have a lot of locations or not, but as you do grow, you know, as we expect you to dominate your marketplace, the more locations you have, the more monitoring there is. And so each location that you have, we have a specific listing on Bing, Yahoo, City Search, and all those other directories. And so what we do is we're able to monitor every single location in every single directory for you. So what's really important here is that you might have a location that's getting some bad reviews, but all the other ones are good. But those bad reviews from one location are going to start to impact all the other ones. You see a lot of these sites actually aggregate reviews. So when a bad review is posted, guess what it does? it shows up on all the other websites and other directories. Now you don't want that happening. So again, that's why having a personal review page for your customers to put in their reviews before it actually hits the web is vital for filtering out any bad reviews that you might be getting. Now, managing your reputation isn't just about monitoring or reporting. It's about continuing to grow your reviews. We work with our clients to continually get them the latest five-star reviews because your customers don't want to actually see reviews that are you know six months old a year old even 18 months old they want to see up-to-date reviews to know that you're continuing to give great service in the marketplace and also posting reviews you have to keep on posting reviews and 
to keep making sure that you understand that it can't be done by the individual, that each company needs a system and a process that overrides those filters. If not, posted reviews will just be deleted the next day. And lastly, managing your reputation by marketing only the five-star reviews. Now, this is really important because even an average review, even though it, you know, it isn't even though it's good, excuse me, it's going to convert very well unless it has the right information, the right social and buying triggers, triggers that, that are inside of it. So we continually monitor for the right reviews to be able to post on your website and all over the web in order to make that reputation online. So it is really important that you pick the best reviews because you don't need a lot of them. Remember, 10, 12, 15 max to really be able to convert the people that show up at your website or to be able to convert others in different sales media presentations and you know wherever you're doing in your in your marketplace so now one of the most important things you need to do with your reputation marketing strategy is create a reputation marketing culture inside of your business so here's the question you expect your staff to give first-class service to every single one of your customers right well what's your plan to inspire your staff to give first-class service to those customers and get raving reviews. See, what we do is we want to actually build a reputation marketing culture so all of your staff are on the same page. So what's the plan? I mean, the plan is to build a personalized reputation training center. And this is what we do for our customers. We actually built an education training center for every single staff member that you have that can they can go in and to easily understand and learn what reputation marketing is. So you don't have to train them. We do it for you. And more importantly, the way that they actually treat the customer today is a reason that we are going to get a new customer tomorrow. Because you're always one customer away from getting a bad reputation online. And your entire staff needs to know that everything from the customer service person to the salesperson and everybody in between. So we'll make sure that your entire team understands by developing a personalized reputation training center for them. They will actually be able to go in and log in. They'll be able to actually watch training videos on what reputation is all about. And then what we're going to do to make sure that they're really you know, on the same page and making sure that they're focused on giving first class customer service, we're going to give them a quiz. Yeah, we, they will be, you know, they'll have to take a, a quiz, we'll score them, and then we're going to send those results directly to you so you can see what part of your staff really understands reputation marketing and making sure that, again, that the way they treat the customer today and how great an experience they have is the reason you're going to get new customers in the door. And then what we're going to do is we're going to allow them to take the quiz again. They get to retake it because, you know, we don't really care how many they get wrong. We just want to make sure they're getting the right answers and they get the concepts correctly. We're going to teach them. So we're going to really partner with every single one of your customers to be able to do that. We want to really change your culture and make a difference. More importantly, we want to help companies that really provide great products and services in the marketplace to build a five-star reputation and be able to create a great reputation marketing strategy. Because your reputation is everything. It's the most important ingredient for converting leads and dominating your market and really getting that phone to ring with new business. And every company needs a reputation strategy, as you can see. And we are happy to help you put one together. Because your reputation marketing, and I hope that you can see over the last half hour, is the most important marketing that any local business can do. So we want to help you with that. So what I have to do is I'd like to put together a proposal for you. And it's going to be a step-by-step -step process that you go through and let you know how you can put a plan together to better dominate your market online. So here again is the link to the uh, free tool I told you about earlier to check out what others are saying about your company online. Uh, it's really important that you take advantage uh, and find out what consumers uh, are saying about you um, publicly. So again, my name is Wayne Coakley. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and I look forward to connecting with you real soon.